Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of squares and square roots, we shall be taking few hots and enrichment questions. So let's start. The first question is the cost of leveling a square lawn at rupees 15 per square meter is rupees 20,535. Find the cost of fencing the lawn at rupees 22 per meter. So over here we have to find the cost of fencing the lawn. That means we have to find the perimeter of the lawn so that we get the boundary and we will multiply by the rate that is 22 and we shall get the cost of fencing the boundary of this lawn. Now to find the perimeter we require the side. We require the length of each side of the square lawn. To find each side we require area. Now how to find the area of the square lawn? We are given the cost of leveling the square lawn rupees 20,535 and we are given the rate of leveling a square lawn that is rupees 15 per meter square. So if we divide the cost by the rate, we shall get the area of the square lawn. So we can say the area of the square lawn is 20,535 divided by 15 and we shall get 1,369 meter square. So basically we were given the cost and the rate and we divided the cost by the rate and we got the area that is 1369. Now we can find the length of each side of the square lawn. So for that let us assume let each side of the square lawn be A. So we know that area of a square lawn is A into A that is A square which is equal to 1369 meter square area we have calculated over here. Therefore, each side that is A is square root of 1369 meter square. Therefore, we can say that to find the length of each side of this square lawn, we have to find the square root of 1369. Let us use long division method to find its square root. The first step of finding the square root is to form the pairs starting from one's digit. So first pair or period is 69. Then we have 13. Now first period from the leftmost side is 13. So you have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 13. So the suitable number is 3 because 3 into 3 is 9 which is less than 13. We cannot keep 4 over here because 4 into 4 will be 16 which is more than 13. Now 13 minus 9 is 4. Bring down the next period 69. Now our dividend is over here 469 for which we require the divisor. So we shall take the question, the first question and we will double it. So 3 into 2 is 6. Further keep a blank over here. Now think of a number what should come in this blank. Multiply by the same number and we get a product which is equal to or less than 469. So 7 is the suitable number. So we can say our divisor is 67. Question is 7 product we have got 469 for the remainder is 0 right so we can say the square root of 1369 is 37 meters right so over here each side of the square lawn which is a is 37 meters this we have calculated by long division method now perimeter of the square lawn is 4a that is 4 into 37 is 148 meters. So we can further say that cost of fencing the square lawn is 22 into 148 which is equal to 3256. So basically we started with finding the area then we calculated each side of the square lawn by long division method. That means we calculated the square root of the area that came 37 meters. Now when we got the each side, when we got each side of the square lawn, we calculated the perimeter of the square lawn and afterwards we calculated the cost of fencing the square lawn by multiplying by 22. So we got rupees 3256 as the cost of fencing the square lawn, right? Now let us take up second question. If square root of 2 is 1.414, square root of 5 is 2.236 and square root of 3 is 1.732, find the value of square root of 72 plus square root of 48 and square root of 125 by 64. 
so there are two parts to this question let us take a first part that is square root of 72 plus square root of 48 we shall be using prime factorization method so we know the factors of 72 we can say it is 4 into 9 into 2 or we can simply say 2 square into 3 square into 2 then 48 can be said as 16 into 3 which is 16 is what 4 into 4 which we can write 2 square into 2 square into 3 so that way we can find the factors or you can do prime factorization of 72 and 48 and find out the factors right now take out one factor of each pair so from this 2 square we are taking out 2 from this 3 square we are going to take out 3 now only this 2 is left without a pair so let it be in the square root right now from this 2 square let us take out 2 from this 2 square let us take out 2 and now this 3 is left so let us keep it in square root of 3 right so we have 6 into square root of 2 plus 4 into square root of 3 now square root of 2 is given to us in the question 1.414 so 6 into 1.414 plus 4 into 1.732 square root of 3 is 1.732 it is given in the question now further when we'll find 6 into 1.414 we shall get 8.484 4 into 1.732 is 6.928 we will add them and we shall get the answer 15.412 now let us take up second part square root of 125 by 64 now 125 is nothing but 25 into 5 or we can say 5 square into 5 64 is 8 square further take out one of the factors from each pair so 5 into root of 5 upon 8 now root 5 is given to us 2.236 so we can write 5 into 2.236 upon 8 which is equal to 1.3975 when we'll solve it we will get 1.3975 as the answer right now let us take up third question the product of two numbers is 1296 if one number is 16 times the other find the numbers so let us assume the first number be x so second number be 16 x because it is written one number is 16 times the other so if one is x other will be 16 x further they have given product of two numbers is 1296 so we can say product of two numbers that is x into 16x is equal to 1296 further x into 16x x into x is x square so 16x square is equal to 1296 x square is 1296 divided by 16 that is 81 so x is square root of 81 that is 9 so we can say the first number is 9 and the second number is 16 into 9 that is 144 right so these are the two numbers one is 9 other is 144 right now let us take a fourth question find the value of square root of 50,625 and hence find the value of square root of 506.25 plus square root of 5.0625 now if you observe in both these numbers only the decimal place is different otherwise the digits are same and digits are actually same as this square root number 50625 uh, five. so let us start by finding the square root of 50625 by prime factorization method so here i have done the prime factorization and i've got the factors 3 into 3 3 into 3 5 into 5 and 5 into 5 which is i can write 3 square into 3 square into 5 square into 5 square now take out one factor from each pair so i will get 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 which is equal to 225 so i can say square root of 50625 is 225 right up till now it is clear we have got the square root of 50625 now the first number is square root of 506.25 right there are two decimal places right we know that the square root of 50625 is 225 just write down 225 and because there are two decimal places over here so one decimal place will come over here just remember that just half of it over here same 50625 is the number square root is 225 how many decimal places one two three and four so over here two decimal place right so 
one number we have got 22.5 other we have got 2.25 we just have to add both these numbers so we can say over here square root of 506.25 plus 5.0625 is 22.50 plus 2.25 which is equal to 24.75 right now let us take up fifth question write a pythagorean triplet if one number is 14 Now based on this number 14 we have to find Pythagorean triplet the rule says the smallest even number be 2m then find m from it and then find 2m m square minus 1 m square plus 1 these are your Pythagorean triplets right so let us assume our smallest even number be 14 which is given in the question which is equal to 2m so we can say 2m is equal to 14 so m is equal to 14 divided by 2 that is 7 right now pythagorean triplet our first is 2m that is 2 into 7 14 then m square minus 1 that is m square 7 square minus 1 which is equal to 49 minus 1 which is equal to 48 then m square plus 1 which is equal to 7 square plus 1 which is equal to 49 plus 1 which is equal to 50 so basically the three numbers which we have got which we can say they are pythagorean triplets are 14 48 and 50 so we can say 14 48 50 50 is a pythagorean triplet right so this is it hope you have enjoyed the video and understood all these five questions please do like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone have a great day ahead